And now, entering the ring, fighting out of the red corner, please welcome Dariel Kuchmanov. Uhika had six consecutive victories to start his career, had great momentum. Well, somebody who knows all about momentum is this man, Dario Kuchmanov. 5-0, and perfect undefeated record coming in. Three of those five victories by way of knockout. Fighting out of L.A. by way of uh, Nalchik, Russia. 20 years old, orthodox, just it looks to have so much Tough upside. Tough fighter. Yeah. Tough fighter. He comes from a warrior, a warrior country. It's a similar country of the UFC fighter Khabib. All those guys over there are tough, and you guys are in for a treat. Whatever Carlos brings in this fight, Dario is going to meet him. Great competition, six rounds to prove who is the better man in the battle of the rising stars, the making of legends. Are we going to look? Are we looking at a future legend in Dario Kuchmanov? Right, fight fans, here we go. Ed Holmes All Star Promotions is proud to present six rounds of boxing in the featherweight division. Once again, our referee in charge of this bout, Hall of Famer Jerry Cantu. And now, introducing to you first on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, he is wearing a black and white trunks. He is training out of Las Vegas Fight Club by way of Venezuela. He weighed in 124 pounds. His record, six wins. One loss with one win coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Carlos the Machine Mujica. His opponent across the ring on my left, fighting out of the red corner. He is wearing red trunks to rim in black. He is training out of Freddie Roach's world famous wild card boxing in Hollywood by way of Cabadino Balcardia. He weighed in 126 pounds. He brings to the ring an undefeated record, five wins. No losses with three wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Dario Bold Kuchman. Once again, our referee in charge, Jerry Cantu, to give final instruction. Stage is set. High profile, high stakes match up here. Have received your instructions in the dressing room. Estás resolviendo sus instrucciones en el camarino. Buenas suerte con los. Touch him up. Good luck to both of you. Both fighters, touch gloves, set for six rounds of action, 126 pounds. Should be a good one, Jalen. Both fighters look ready. Let's see who takes the first round. Carlos Mujica in the black and white, taking on Dario Kuchmanov in the red and black. So you mentioned you've been in there, you've sparred with, with Dario. What are some of the uh, attributes that make him so impressive? Dario's a tall fighter. He fights behind his jab, and it's his character is really his asset. He doesn't show that he's tired or uncomfortable in the ring. He keeps a very... Like he keeps a poker face when he's fighting. Well, it's fitting here at Commerce Casino, that is for <laughs> sure. And and certainly looks to be a tall, rangy fighter that could work effectively off that jab. Does just that so effectively. And he's patient, is uh, is Kuchmanov. He doesn't he doesn't uh, doesn't rush in. You can see the skills of him, all the experience that he got from scoring the pose a wild card. He's been in there, I've personally seen him in there with great champions. So he can handle, he can handle whatever his guy's bring. And there with uh, the machine, Carlos Mujica, though, who has got a great record thus far in his own rights. Both fighters do have knockout victories, although three knockouts for, for Dario, who's been very impressive. With Carlos is switching from southpaw to orthodox. 
try to confuse Dario and see if he'll have success with it. Either fighter has been caught with anything big so far. They're still filling each other out. Two high-level guys young in their career. They, fools rush in, don't want to make a pivotal early mistake. And with six rounds as opposed to the four rounders that we've had up to this point in the card, you do have a little bit more time for a feeling out process. Carlos's switching of stance from southpaw and orthodox is confusing Dario just a little bit. And, it, it, you know, it's a tough proposition to get inside the reach of Dario, and, and Mujica is, is doing that quite effectively right now. I would like to see Dario let his hands go just a little more. I have a feeling at some point you'll get your chance to see just that, but Carlos Mujica, impressive in the early going, came in with a good game plan. Yeah, this, is, this, this isn't a sparring match. Dario needs to get the fight back to the center of the ring. Mojica has closed the gap effectively here. And uh, he's throwing some pretty high volume stuff when he gets in there. Nice double jab right landed yes. by Dario. First round comes to a close. Nice late combination there by Carlos Mujica against the undefeated Dario, uh, Dario Kuchmanov. And that's got to be a good confidence builder, I would think, for Mujica. Yeah, Carlos Mujica finished strong in the first round. We take a look now into the corner of both it's, fighters. It's not too alarming, but Dario needs to make uh, some changes come second round. He's got five more Which rounds to work. I believe he will. Yep. Again, you know, comes from that, that world famous wild card boxing. You know, you, you got to think that adjustments, fine tuning will be made in between rounds. We'll see what happens as a result. But uh, Mujica making a fine showing of himself thus far in this one. We'll see what round two holds. Bell sounds, time to fight off. You think that Mujica did enough to win that first round? Um, tough to say, tough to say, but he did finish strong. It all depends what the judges are looking for. Nice trading of shots for both fighters. 100% agree with that. They were mixing it up in that exchange. Dario trying to establish the jab again. The Was switching it? of stance is very confusing in there. Yes. He's making it hard for Dario to catch his rhythm. And, and that has really been one of the biggest tools in the, in the toolbox that Dario has been working off the jab and the timing. If you take that away from Kuchmanov, you take away some of his uh, primary advantages. Dario is showing beautiful defense right now, using of his shoulders and his head. We just gotta see some punches behind him. Nice one, two, landed. Yes. Boika did not like that. No. Gotta think that Dario will, in time, find his rhythm. Doubles up on the jab and scores with the right again. And starts to get a little bit more comfortable in there with Carlos Mujica. You can see the experience from Dario. He's doing a little better and moves in there with his shoulders and the pivoting of his shots. Nice hook landed. Nice work by both. Coming up on a minute to go in the second of six scheduled rounds. Good finesse being shown by both fighters thus far. Body, body, head there by Mujica. Showing good movement in there. A good fight of, uh, a good showcase of skills from both fighters. Yes, it's what it's all about. All-star boxing can be a real launch pad. We 
These are two of the brightest uh, rising stars that we that we feature here. Nice counter from Dario. But Carlos is not discouraged. She's still marching forward. Certainly is. Boy, the second round went by quick. And uh, both fighters just trying to get their time in the range. Nice work late there by Mujica. Nice action-packed fight with a yes. good showcase of skills. <laughs> they, they didn't want to stop at the, at the bell there. They want to keep this thing rolling. Let's see how round three unfolds. All right. Again, Todd Kennelly here calling the action with Jalen Skywalker. Great uh, fight thus far, very technical. Your thoughts after two. Beautiful display of skills and grit from both fighters. I like how both fighters are coming back from adversity. Dario showed his experience and the skills that he has gained from wild card. But Carlos is also marching forward and it's never discouraged. Let's see who will take round number three. There you have it. And Mujica has, has made it tough for Dario to fight his fight. Thus yeah, far. the thing is, is that Carlos is switching from southpaw to orthodox back and forth. So it's making it hard for Dario to catch his rhythm. Bell sounds, round three, off and running in this human game of chess. See who will uh, get the checkmate as this thing continues. Nice one, too, landed by Dario. He hurt Carlos. He hurt him again. Beautiful overhand right, and Carlos is hurt badly. Let's Mujica, see if Dario can finish him. Mujica in big trouble. What a flurry early there by Dario Kuchmanov. Dario is impressing me tonight. Dario, you got to believe it's going to be a shot. Beautiful shark. shot landed. Smelling blood in the water right now. Kuchmanov is going to be looking for that finish. Can Mohika answer what a stiff right, right hand. hand. Carlos is in trouble. He needs to hold. Beautiful right hand. Wow. Wow, that's a highlight right hand from Dario. And that might be it. We'll see if Mohika can continue to fight on here. He got dropped in a big way, and that's going to do Beautiful it. Beautiful knockout by Dario. Very impressive. I'm proud of that kid right there. He works hard in the gym. A very honest man. He deserves all the success. Will remain undefeated. Will improve to a perfect 6-0. and And Dario Kuchmanov, who's got ice water in his veins. He was tested in, the, in, the, in those first rounds. He was thrown off his game a little bit. But boy, oh boy, did he answer in emphatic fashion as Jalen, we're going to take a look back at it. What an action-packed round. What a performance by Dario. Wow. Beautiful. Oh, that landed perfect for Dario. And that was it. You could see that getting back up was Mujica on rubber legs. What a right hand by Dario Kuchmanov to score the victory adds a fourth knockout to his resume and will improve to a perfect 6-0 and, and and i can certainly tell that you are you know emotionally invested in this in this exciting young fighter what a dynamic victory and that is nothing new for dario kuchmanov but man what a what a performance up until that point by Carlos Mujica. Yeah, Dario Komishinov is a fighter to watch out for. Yes. He showed beautiful poise and he ended the fight with a bang. Let's make it official. Ladies Back and gentlemen, ring. at one minute, six seconds of round number three, referee in charge, Jerry Cantu, stops the contest in favor of our winner. By way of knockout, he is still undefeated, Dario Boat Kuchmanov. Dario with an impressive and decisive knockout.